An international organization of national parliaments says it is appalled over former President Rodrigo Duterte's alleged threat against ACT Teachers Party List Representative Franz Castro. The Interparliamentary Union criticizes Duterte for his statements, saying it was appalled that the former president directly threatened on air the life of a member of parliament. It adds that this would also have a serious impact on Philippine Congress as it may deter members from speaking out. Castro and former Kabataan Party List Representative Sara Elago have raised their concerns before the Interparliamentary Union about having to endure consistent harassment as members of the House of Representatives. The Interparliamentary Union also urges that Castro's complaint against Duterte before the Quezon City Prosecutor's Office will proceed swiftly. It further calls on the Ombudsman to take the necessary action to examine the complaint along with any steps its finding may warrant. Last month, during a nationally broadcast interview, Duterte allegedly uttered statements threatening Castro's life as he discussed his supposed conversations with his daughter, Vice President Sara Duterte, over her confidential funds for 2024. Sought for a comment on this matter, Senator Bato de la Rosa, an ally of the ex-president, tells Inquirer.net to let our court decide as to the merits of the case if indeed there was a threat. Inquirer.net reached out to Vice President Sara Duterte for a comment on this matter, but she has yet to give her response.